Hey everyone, welcome to DHTV. Today we're going to be talking about 2G, 3G, 4G, and LTE. I've been getting a lot of questions from you, so I thought I'd go through each one, explain it, and give you the differences between each. But let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to look at, obviously, is G, and what that stands for is basically generations. So, starting off with old cell phones like this one right here, these were equipped with 2G, uh, or Edge, as it was called in some areas, and they were very slow. If you've ever had a phone like this and tried to access Facebook or anything like that, it was crazy slow. So, this was where things got started, uh, mainly, and uh, this was actually one of my older phones. This is the Sony Ericsson. I think it's the W10i. Anyway, that that's what 2G basically was, a very slow internet connection for your cell phone. And now with smartphones, we've gotten into 3G, 4G, and LTE speed. So let's jump right into 3G speeds, which is basically faster than 2G. It allowed you to get up to, I believe, 3 megabits per second uh, via your phone's 3G connection. And a lot of this came out with Blackberries and uh, the iPhone, and then later on, uh, some of the Android phones started coming out, and even 4G jumped into play, which I say 4G like this with some quotes, because the initial 4G that came out was actually uh, just a souped up 3G. What happened was um, the rules to actually change a G over, so 2G, 3G, 4G, used to be a thousand times uh, the speed of the one before it. So what happened was this got changed to a hundred times. So almost overnight companies like AT&T and whatnot would jump in and call their 3G or 3G plus 4G. And really that wasn't the case, it was just a souped up 3G and you can get up to maybe 6 megabits per second. Now true 4G, which is LTE as many of us know it, um, this gets you speeds around 12 to 24 megabits per second. I've gotten higher than that and uh, I actually took a speed test just before this so I could show you. So we'll jump into that and um, most of you, if you have an iPhone or an Android device, you're pretty much equipped with 4G by this time or at this point. And if you just download an app called speedtest.net, it'll allow you to check your speeds. Now, right now, I have a bad connection here, but today I was able to get uh, these speeds here. Hopefully you can see them. I'll, I'll say them anywhere. I'll write them on the page here so you can see. And uh, basically I was getting 7.21 megabits download and 9.46 upload but in different areas I've been able to get up to uh, I believe 23 31 at times this one right here 31 megabits per second download and that's faster than most people's home internet my home internet right now only gets me about 15 megabits uh, download and 10 up this gets me as you see 31 download and then 26 upload. All right, now just to recap, because I got into a lot of figures, it might be a little bit confusing. 2G is basically super slow. Old cell phones had that, and this was mainly for, I believe, Blackberry devices to get the emails to the phone. I don't think it was really made to surf the internet because it was extremely hard. And then when 3G came along, it became a little bit easier. It was a more comfortable speed. You could surf the internet without really many issues. And you could even watch YouTube videos without a problem. Then the 3G plus 4G style uh, internet or connection came along. And that allowed for a little bit more speed, a little bit more comfort when you're surfing the internet, getting through pages very quickly. And then now with the true 4G LTE speeds, you can pretty much do anything, watch YouTube videos in HD, download music, stream music, do live FaceTime chat videos and all kinds of stuff like that. So it's really become very fast and very easy to use uh, with your devices now and most devices are LTE 4G capable. Now once again, uh, this is the site right here, it's speedtest.net and you can surf that on your Android device, you can just download the app, you can download the app on your iPhone, I believe it's there too, and uh, if not, you can always use the mobile version, just going to speedtest.net, test out your speed, see if your 4G is true 4G, or if you've got one of those 3G plus devices. Most older devices, though, uh, made, I believe, like mid-2011, maybe early 2012, had those 3G plus 4G. So, anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all that fun stuff.